Hi, my name is Peter Walker. I'm a counselor and clinical supervisor. I've entitled this self-actualization. Uh, in the therapy world, this concept of self-actualization uh, is in a lot of different arenas. Um, it dates back to Kurt Goldstein, 1939, this concept of, of actualizing self. In fact, it was a, in the context of biology, really, that that kicked off. But then it has been referenced by Carl Rogers and Maslow. And um, it's also a very popular concept, uh, uh, trying to find oneself or become one's fullest self. I was thinking along these lines of, of, of being uh, uh, and capturing the true you uh, in the context of uh, often where we get caught up in self-advocating. So um, there can be a dynamic and we see it in ourselves and we see it with other people, a type of insecurity in, uh, in, in, in seeking to advocate for ourselves maybe promote ourselves in certain situations, social, uh, professional, but in a, in, a, in a sense trying to define who it is we are, bouncing this off other people, looking for them to um, reflect back to us or confirm to us who it is we are. We're, we're, we're self-promoting, self-advocating, seeking people's definition of who we are. Uh, that they would tell us, yes, you are, uh, you are this, you are that. Um, that's where that kind of sense of insecurity comes in. Now, self-advocating in that spirit of, of insecurity isn't so much an equation as, as, a, uh, as a spirit. Uh, there can be self-promotion in certain spheres that's just, uh, it's just appropriate. You, you are something in a given context and you're putting yourself forward. Um, G.K. Chesterton once said, uh, it is the humble man who talks too much. Uh, and he was speaking, uh, maybe as it were, against the, 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 the cliche that speaking too much even about oneself is, is obviously pride. Um, and he was saying, well, sometimes, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it derives honestly from, from true humility, just given to the facts of a situation and of who one is in that situation, others and self. Um, but then there can be a spirit of insecurity and of seeking who it is you really are through promoting yourself, being definitive about who you are, seeking other people's feedback uh, to validate that. Um, there, there's um, uh, a safer place if you can imagine, can you imagine what it would be to be coming to people self-actualized, coming to people out of a sense of who you are, a safe place, um, bringing and giving in relationship rather than bringing yourself, trying to seek who it is you are through through um, defining who it is you are to people and promoting yourself and advocating for yourself, seeking for them to define you, just try to imagine what it would be if you had found who it was you were. You were safe and secure in that place. And in that place of peace, you came into the company of other people um, as, a, as a gift of wholeness, as it were are ready to give to others, to breathe into their lives, to define them, to validate them because you're taken care of. I think of uh, Colossians 3.3, 3, um, just a beautiful picture. Um, it says, our lives are hidden with Christ in God. And uh, I love that place, that space where your identity is now sheltered uh, like that of a child under the protection of of its mother, um, identity is spoken for. Your life is hidden with Christ in God, almost uh, lost and one with in the midst of the clouds of truth and light, uh, no longer a pursuit, uh, no longer vulnerable, hidden with Christ in God, Colossians 3.3. 3. I also love this verse and it recurs in a lot of what I share and a lot of what I think 
Revelations 2, 17, where God uh, is speaking to the churches and he speaks to them of, of their faithfulness to him and he says uh, as a reward he would give to them um, an, an, a white stone with a name on it that is known only to them. Uh, it's just a very um, esoteric picture of, of, again, a pure, definitive identity in stone that is known to God and known to you and is safe, um, no longer needs to be sought, but perhaps can be stood on. And from that place of safety, um, life and relationship and validation can be given to others.